I want to say shalom to you all out, um, out there watching. Um, have you always give uh, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Yahweh Kadash. The blessings to the apostles of Great Millstone and Shalom to the Akim pushing this word in sincerity and in truth. Um, to you, Akim and Akwath out there who listen to these uh, lessons and um, call upon the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you know, um, blessings and peace to you as well. Uh, much p peace, love, and blessings to the elect of Israel as well. All right, so. <coughs> Alright, so here we have a, you know, a video from, uh, my my boy, from the ICH farmer. Believe him, name was Christian. Alright, let's just get right into the video. Annika, a biotechnology startup which has recently introduced their flagship product, a uh, genetically modified probiotic spore that can be, as we read here, misted onto dry goods or added to liquid products, and these GMO spores are tagged with a digital ID that you can trace back using blockchain or any other technology to whatever you want. So we're now this is a method of providing a unique ID to anything, any piece of, as you can see here, any apple, any piece of food, or really anything across any supply chain, so that we can integrate that with our AI plus blockchain supply chain that we're creating in our fourth industrial revolution here. So the bottom line about this tech, this tech. All right. So as I can see, you know, E is at it again, and I mean E being Isa Edom, and I mean <coughs> um, Isa Edom seeing the uh, the devil according to the scriptures, and I mean he's at it again. All right. This time. They are looking into, um, and this is not something where it's not something that is widespread. It is not um, known all over. Then again, a lot of these agendas are not um, globally recognized or globally known by the masses. All right. So basically, as the the um, the you in another video I say oh they have come up they have um they have come up with a new way of tagging um of tagging things basically but in this video you know they mainly are focused on food right now this new this technology right this um this micro micro barcode right is um let me just go. Let me just play some more of this. One of the numbers here in a second is that they make the case that this is, of course, edible and tasteless, and they claim safe. And that really underscores the fact that these guys are creating a GMO microbe barcode that they intend to implant in any food product before it goes off into the shipping for grocery stores into your stomach and ultimately into the smart sewers that will attract these products in your gut even. It's Age Farmer Broadcast. Can we hear a little bit about how Annika is changing the security of the supply chains uh, as the world becomes more and more global? So sort of on a high level, what we do is we use microbes as tracking devices. So what we do is we convert data, digital data, into strands of DNA we insert that little bit of DNA into an, a microorganism, a probiotic microorganism, to be honest. Uh, and then we can sort of apply that organism and sort of uh, have it hitch a ride on any food or agricultural product or, or really anything through the supply chain. Um, and what the reason we use a, a microbe to do it is because we engineer it to go into a spore. So a dormant state that allows it to be impervious to high temperatures and UV. All right. So, so what he's saying is that they've developed a, um, a GMO, um, um, microbe DNA, right, which them embed into spores, right, and this um is now, um, added to food, right. He, uh, in another video, you know, them are gonna discuss other ways where it can be used, but you know, the main point that is being focused on. Um, is food, right? They are adding these um, 
things in food and is as him say is a way to um to basically um <coughs> excuse me track food right you'd be able to track food you know what i mean from um from what you call it now production to the to the last to the to the to the last um stage right so excuse me so this basically this basically um if you really if you look upon it right and add other other information to this that we're seeing right here right um you can actually see where these men seen um their ultimate goal is to have the population weaker than them um these men being the um really the elites you know what i mean because there's the there's the war on nutrition right um things that carry nutrients seen um even in this video it goes into um mr mr the the mr um, christian right the owner of the channel is in basically as a matter of fact let me just go right to it let's try go right to it here we go i'll just go right to it but um yeah as i was saying that you know they are developing these microbes right to add to food so that the food can be tracked no adding other information to this such as um the blockchain right or or even even the universal basic income because that um that they are basically gonna be giving free money to people because nobody will be working right nobody will will need to work because automation right so when with no one working people still have to be sustained uh, hence that's where universal basic income comes in however you're not going to be living off this system and think that um hey you can do whatever you want right and this was this is something that we've we've been we've um we've this is information that we've um come into before right at our camp you know i mean where um people will be you will be forced to eat what they want you to eat you know i mean as a matter of fact there was a comedy skit with a with um a man a, an indian comedy skit where this man was ordering pizza right and while he's ordering pizza you know what I mean the the um the person or the customer service person over the phone is telling him what and what he can and cannot get due to his medical um history right or his medical issues seen and that's 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 the same <coughs> that's um that's the actual road where we are gonna go down right um and if these these microbes come into play right be being that it can be tracked seen they will know if you are eating what you're not supposed to be eating as as the as the as i can see and as a and um there's another example coming up further on in this video right coming from the um this humber right here so seen um <coughs> these things are indestructible seen they are indestructible and hence that means um once they eat it they know what they will know what you are eating they'll know what you are consuming if you are consuming things that you're not supposed to consume right because as me say in order for living at a, um them society you need to be eating what they prescribe you to eat see so hence nobody should be getting fat and all of them something they see are what you call it now then you're not supposed to be somebody where i go um what you call it hmm i try to look for the right word but right they don't really want anybody to basically be living off their system and not comply to their rules right you're not supposed to be too healthy and then 
obviously them no want you to be too un- unhealthy, right? So them are gonna tell you what you're supposed to eat. See, so uh, we could go right back to the video and go. I gotta jump to this timestamp here. Um, not to worry, the video is long, and I don't want this video that I'm doing to go um very long. So I'm just gonna skip through some to to certain time frames. Um, but I will leave the video in the description, Lord's will. So you know, Akim can go to it. Any further, I want to point out this talk that we're watching is part of a demonstration day hosted by SOSV, a venture capital firm who invests quite a bit into, as we can see from their portfolio companies here, uh, replacement agriculture, cell cultured meats and other uh, synthetic foods. Just taking a quick look here, Memphis Meats is obviously one of the uh, popularly uh, consumed fake meat burgers out there. We're developing a way to produce real meat without the need for animals. So meat without the animals. They have finless food is another... Right. Right. So there we have it. Yeah. Um, protein perfected. So these men will be distributing um, genetically modified um, nutrients, genetically modified meats, right? Um, genetically modified food overall for people to consume while I mean while um, they right which are the elites will basically be able to consume um, the the real foods you know what I mean they'll be able to they, them still are going to consume um, cattle them still are going to consume um, beef chicken whatever it is that they um eat right we all know we know say how oh, them have the doomsday vault so how is it that them have these um doomsday vaults preserving all of these natural seeds natural trees and everything seen but somehow the world is still moving to genetically modified um, organisms for the future right think about that So, okay. Don't know why this always happen. Alright, so I'm gonna just get a quick preset before we even continue this. Um this is this is Isaiah. Hold on. There we go. Yeah. So this is um Isaiah thirty five and oh no, so like not thirty five thirty two. Alright. Uh, as a matter of fact, let me just bring it up on screen. Alright. Isaiah thirty two. Alright, so this is Isaiah 32, and we are going to start at verse 5. It says, The vile person shall no more be called liberal, nor the churl said to be bountiful. Alright? Uh, because these men come these men come under that, under that, um, under that, you know, guys that they are being liberal, they are liberate people, you know what I mean? They are provide um, safe alternatives when the, the original was already good. Why do we need a safe alternative for anything when the original is already just as good? See? Why do we need GMO? Why do we need genetically modified organisms, yo? See? Um, verse 6. For the vile person will speak villainy and his heart and his heart um, excuse me, will work iniquity to practice hypocrisy and to utter error against Yahweh to make empty the soul of the hungry. Right. Because these men are practice these men are practicing an error against Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Right? Saying that um saying that these basically saying that um these things that the Heavenly Father have provided are not adequate. See right now you can't as a person you cannot say yeah sell 
um, herbal remedies seen legally, right? You have to actually put on your products say, yo, these are not approved by the FDA and um, um, the product does not serve as, um, what do you call it now, something for, for, for treat any form of illness or anything like that, right? Whether you know in yourself, say, yo, look, this herbal remedy can actually um, heal certain things and take care of certain um, sicknesses. You as a you as a herbal doctor cannot just put that information out there, right? Whether you know what you're saying or not. See, when the scriptures clearly say oh, that the most I give with herbs for heal, right? Your food and your medicine and your medicine is your food, yo. Right, it says to take the em is to make empty the soul of the hungry. Right, because there ain't no nutrients in the things that we are eat, yo. Right, there is no nutrients, right, um, in what we are eat. So therefore, we not and this is not um this is not necessarily um speaking of physical hunger, you know, in the scripture. But you know, just I'm just giving you an example based of the topic that we're dealing with right now. Seeing. That hey, we are literally hungry. We're hungry f um physically and spiritually. Seeing it says, and he will cause the drink of the thirsty to feel. The instruments of the churl are evil. He devises wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words, even when the needy speak it right. Right. So so me doing this me even me the fact that I'm doing this video right now it couldn't it can get flagged for medical misinformation seen that's how that's how deceptive these men are right when you try to bring out the truth and true knowledge true health information right you get you get flagged basically saying that you're not a doctor and what you're saying is not proven um by any form of medical research or whatever seen um yeah uh next precept i wanted to bring out another one seen and this is a classic right here you know this is psalm 64 and 2 it says hide